You say it. You say it. You say it. And I got something new. I got something new. Hopefully this works. I got the liquid butters. I got the liquid butters. Orville Redenbachers, if you know, if you want to sponsor me, you can sponsor me. I've been eating this specific popcorn and nothing else for years on end. But hopefully this is good. Never had it before. Never had this brand before, but you know, I trust it. <clears throat> you see it? You see it? Right there. You see it? Hold on. Arguably, I don't know if I said that right, the best in this league. You see it? I don't know why I got this. This is probably nasty as hell. Nasty as hell. Um, I got all of these seasonings before. I just forgot pretty much what they taste like. Um, you already know I had to re up on this. And I know this one is good. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. So, first, I'm going to put this. My cat, Misty, is in heat. Um, so she's just rubbing on anything and everyone. So, do this all in real time. Man. Smells, smells good. They had this one, and then they had movie theater popcorn. Hopefully. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I got excited. I got excited, bitch. I got excited. <laughs> Sit that down. Oh, 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 oh. You see it though? You see it though? Oh my God. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. I'm going to do the... Uh, I'm gonna do the white cheddar, cause I know that bitch is bomb. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Real, like, to be honest, that setup is real. Really? God, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Oh my God. One more time, boom. I don't know if y'all can see all the, all the, oh my God, this smells good. Probably shouldn't use too much of this because you know it's not that much in here. But Misty, you want some? You want some? Oh, damn. She's Misty. This is Misty. She's the one in the heat. All right, then. Let's go. Let's go. Sup, though. For anyone living in a house, odds are your house has an attic in it. Perhaps the place in your house you spend the least amount of time in. Not my house. Do you ever hear sounds coming from up there? Sounds that almost make you wonder if something's up there. Yeah. Of course, it'll usually be dismissed as house settling noises. My because ass. who would ever imagine that someone or something would actually be up in your attic? Or God forbid on your roof, right? Well, these videos may make you want to install cameras. Jerome and Ashley Kennedy, a Pittsburgh couple, along with their 10-month-old baby, were living comfortably, unbeknownst to what was going on above their heads in their own. The 10-month-old baby knew exactly what was going on. That's a baby. Babies, human babies, dogs and cats, and probably some other animals. They know they, they they know what's up. They can sense, feel, taste, 
see. I say feel, sense, hear. All the five senses in six, they know, they know how to, you know what I mean? They can sense that shit, the clockness. What are you doing? Home. The row house next door that was being renovated was owned by 73-year-old Robert Havrilla, who's described by the couple as very reclusive and known to keep to himself. Jerome was in bed one night when he heard noises above him in the attic. The kinds of noises that weren't just house noises. He knew somebody was up there. Then he noticed a light shining through a pipe, as if it were searching for a place to look through. What the hell? So Jerome installed the surveillance camera in his attic, and a day later, caught on tape was many people's worst nightmare. His neighbor Robert in his attic, carrying a power drill, looking into the bedroom. His neighbor had made a removable wall to gain access to their attic. This one looks familiar. Didn't I think Chilling Scares did this this specific video? It wasn't just the attic though. Jerome also found perfectly round holes in the common wall between the two row houses. The shapes indicate that Robert the neighbor was drilling holes through the wall. Cops were called, and Robert was charged with stalking and trespassing, which he pled not guilty to. Robert's attorney made a statement that his client had no bad intentions. He claims he was in the attic for maintenance reasons connected to his renovations. My not to peep on anyone or do anything malicious. Anybody with half a brain would know this is BS. The many holes drilled in the common wall and through the ceiling in the attic were without a doubt meant to spy on his neighbors. Strangely enough, it appears Robert was aware of the camera that Jerome had placed, as he looks right at it in this frame. So why he continued to do what he did is unknown. This popcorn is so good! Ah! This anonymously submitted video to a channel called Handle Bandle starts with a young guy explaining how the dry boxed food that he and his girlfriend had left in the garage was mysteriously torn open and scattered across the floor. Or open in the front or the back door open, but when we were still moving our food in, we left a lot of our box food here in the garage. And uh, when we came out, I think it was a couple days ago, I think it was a Thursday in the morning. The box food, the, like the dry food that we had, it was all torn open and scattered across the garage floor. Since then, we we sweeped it out and cleaned it up and everything. But something got in here and tore a big, uh, big hole in the side of some of those boxes. But anyway, with this new camera, hopefully I can uh, catch something on video. Maybe even put it up on YouTube. We'll see. Obviously, it could have been any number of wild animals. So, in an effort to catch the animal in action the next time it happens, to hopefully help put an end to it, the guy starts to record any time he hears noises outside. Go back. Is that a person? That's a person, right? Laying, in, laying there, right? I would, I would, I would, man. But go back. That big ass teddy teddy bear is hella sus. Hella sus. Hell no. Ted looking at it. Noises outside. So the following night, the guy and his girlfriend hear some sounds on the roof while watching TV. So he looks out his window with his camera's light on in an effort to see if he could find the source of the sounds. So we were just laying here watching the, the office by the window up here. And we're on the second floor. And... I mean, we hear noises out here pretty often, but you can see how high up we are. We hear noises out here, but nothing like, like what we just heard, so it might be worth looking into. I gotta get a flashlight. Oh. can't see anything. I can't really describe exactly what it sounded like, but almost like some kind of a screech. When the window doesn't provide a good view of what it could be, he decides to go outside for a better view. And this is what he sees. Right. What the fuck is that? How you doing? You okay? 
You okay? You okay? Hmm? You okay? You alright? You sure? Alright, I'm gonna put you down now. I'm just making sure you're okay. Cause I'm not! My heart dropped! Damn! That's just, oh my god, that's it. This, that, right, oh my god. Shit! What in the fuck? Wait a minute. Hey! It's half the head of what looks to be either some kind of creature or perhaps somebody wearing a mask. He goes back inside to gain access to the roof through his window to get a closer look. As he climbs up, he hears a snap, then looks to see the head again, still staring at him causing him to possibly fall off the roof. is known of this video was it some kind of creature some people in the comments were saying it could be an owl others think it was a person in a mask with malintent possibly trying to break into the house and some believe this was footage of a rake of a what a rake what the hell is it imagine being home alone at night as a teenager in a big empty house and imagine that you start hearing noises from up in the attic that's exactly what happened to 17-year-old Stephen Braun. While playing video games in the living room, Stephen heard thumping sounds from up in the attic. He called his dad, who was at work, and his dad sounded concerned and told him to go upstairs and check on the hot water heater, which is actually in their attic, a very uncommon place to find a water heater. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The dad told his son to go up there to the attic? Or the son told the dad to go up there to the attic? Because if, if the dad told the son to go up to the attic, you a cluck ass for head ass for doing that shit and saying that shit. For real. That means you don't care. Not one, zero. You give zero clucks about your own son. Now, if the son said it to the dad, that's understandable. I can respect that. Steven's dad was worried that something was wrong with the water heater and that the sounds he was hearing were coming from it. So Steven obliged and proceeded to go up into the attic but not without recording. Why did he record? I mean... As Steven checked the water heater and saw that it was completely fine, he then appeared to be leaving the attic, and that's when he heard a sound that caught his attention. popcorn is so good. I would have died right then and there, I promise you. As Stephen heard something come from inside a large, long box, he took a closer look at it and saw someone's eye peeking out one of the holes. Understandably, the 17-year-old was probably in shock and unable to do anything besides stop recording and run out of the attic. He says he locked himself in his room to call his dad, and his dad simply told him to hang up and call 911, and that's what he did. As Stephen was in his room, he heard the footsteps of someone leaving the attic and then running down the stairs of the house and out the front door. As has clearly happened way too many times before, by the time police showed up, it was way too late to catch the intruder. Oddly enough, nothing was stolen from the attic or the rest of the house, but it's unknown for how long exactly someone was up in the attic or what they were doing up there. Oh my God.
In this video we are about to see, a young couple who just recently moved into their new home started hearing noises from up above in the attic. So the man decides to go up there with a light and camera and check it out. <laughs> the man looks around for several minutes but doesn't see anything out of the ordinary. As the wife is clearly very distressed and scared, the man maintains a calm, reassuring demeanor about the situation. As the man descends back down the ladder, the woman keeps recording and inadvertently catches something disturbing on video. Yeah, I see, ah, yeah, I've seen this. I've seen this hella time. What appears to be the wrinkled, gray face of an old man peering down at the couple for a very brief moment with an eerie expression. It quickly disappears back into the darkness above, going undetected by the couple. Some people believe that it may have been a homeless elderly man who was taking refuge in the couple's attic. However, given the small size of the attic, it would be very unlikely for the man not to have spotted a squatter up there. In the early hours of the morning on July 14, 2011, Hasue Silva started hearing noises coming from his roof that he had been hearing the night before as well. This footage is over 10 years old now. And the person who recorded this didn't have much money to afford a better camera. And high quality cameras weren't as easily available back then. Hasue swears that the footage you're about to see is legitimate. I'm hearing some noises on my roof tonight. See that? See that? Yesterday I heard the same thing. But I didn't want to come out. The camera wasn't charged. I can hear something up there. See that? See that? After seeing this rake-like creature, Hasue falls from the roof from shock. He grabbed his rifle and returned to his roof, but the creature was no longer there. The creature seems to be bald with a large round head, but no facial features can be seen. What the hell is a rake? You know, to solve these, 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 oh my God, that, this one was scary as shit. I'm not gonna lie. To solve all of this, you just don't have an attic, you know? Oh, if you do have an attic, seal it up. But I do not condone an attic. Um, or, I don't, don't, you just, just don't have an attic. A crawl space, misty, misty. Just don't have an attic, a crawl space, a basement. Or chimney. Come on. Stop. Just stop. But this was creepy as shit, though. I'm not even going to you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> if y'all have any... I'm glad I don't have an attic or basement or crawl space or anything like that. Any clock places. Because if I did, best believe, I would have sealed it up and just would never would have went in there. I would have had no business being in there. But if you all have crawl spaces, attics, basements, chimneys, may God be with you. Because Jesus. Keep it cold. Keep it classy. And I love you. Stay happy. My family. Oh, my God.